Oh, what's going on guys michael jordan or the copy dog here back with another overwatch league video um it's been a minute since i've uploaded like 60 days or something like that uh, i've just been busy with school and work and life so uh yeah but i'm back today because uh a leak happened on sideshow stream with custa and neptuno and we got we got some off-season juice coming in right so so far we've had a lot of crazy moves outlaws picking up harsha and hydration roar going to the washington justice uh florida dropping arguably one of their best players and hago pen just a lot of crazy stuff but we're not talking about today we're just going to hop into these leaks so let's go all right so we're going to pause it and resume it as we need to so let's go the people are putting big money into it like that's it, right? Like, and what? that doesn't really exist for me, so it's like. So you say you stay on Valiant. I think yeah. I, mean, I think the only thing that was potentially. So, so far, Custa said he's staying on Valiant. And when the teams, when they're talking about super teams, Sideshow talked about this because he heard Bren say it. Some teams are either going to go for the super budget route of trying to save as much money as possible, or um, teams are going to go balls deep spend tons of money in order to make teams that can contest with the san francisco shock so when they're talking about super teams that's what they mean these teams are the ones that are spending some big buck in order to compete so let's resume interesting to me was dallas but then they ended up going against it so i think they just like my money is broke but i heard they traded og right to yes yes yeah, yeah. 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 yeah og in space yeah for big money Okay, so what they're saying is OG was traded to the Gladiators from Dallas Fuel and that um, Gladiators also picked up Space. And as he's going to say later in the video, it's for a lot of money because Space's, Space's contract is probably ginormous, right? I think he was on a team option. I can't remember, but a player like Space, the best uh, Western uh, off tank, like he's probably costing a lot of money, right? So... Uh, Interesting stuff. Let's resume. That's a good question. How do you build a team around those I two? But money, I know I, I haven't heard the money. I heard the money was like intentionally not said because it's like a fucking number. Okay, wait. Um, so who were they trying to get? Four hundred K plus. Wait, 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 wait. So you, Dallas didn't want you, and they went with who? Gamso. Apparently Gamsu's on 240. I heard he's contract. So 240 k for Gamsu's contract. Neptuno doesn't know who Gamsu is. Yeah, but they they oh, traded OG. He's like, he, yeah, so they traded OG. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is like they they. Oh. they right, we're getting to this. They, Wait, they don't want closer. No, they apparently, but they wanted apparently they wanted to trade closer for me and then also pay the money. But Valiant doesn't want closer. Close is worth too much money, and Valiant's going full budget. They traded everything. Yeah, I heard that. They're like this cheap. Like, mm -hmm. they're, they're literally anyone that was worth money, they traded. I asked Valiant, are you guys going to trade? And they said, we don't want you because we're going cheap. I'm like, you don't even know if I want to, if I, if I would get. They're, they're not paying money. anyone over like 50 or 60k next year. That's that's insane. Listen, um, Valiant, I'll. I'll Deep dive into a little oh, uh, esports history for you guys. So, Valiant is owned by Immortals Gaming, right? A lot of these teams in Overwatch League, they're owned by someone, and either that someone's partnering with an esports organization or the esports organization itself owns it, right? So, Immortals owns LA Valiant. Recently, probably like six or seven months ago, Immortals Gaming bought out Infinite Esports. If you don't know who Infinite Esports is, that is the owners of Optic Gaming and also the owners of the Houston Outlaws. The L uh, LCS spot, or it's LEC spot, LCS I think, uh, which is League of Legends. And they um, Optic also owned a COD team, they also owned a Gears of War team, and they also owned a CSGO team. So, I think it was like a 40 plus million it probably way more than that in order to buy out optic gaming and the thing is um immortals they have a lot of teams in these things really they mainly bought the optic spot in order to have an lcs spot which has been rumored right so um they sold the gears of war team to energy esports owners of san francisco shock they weren't able to sell the CSGO team, so that's probably a lot of money that they lost. And the CSGO team was doing all right. And then they haven't been able to sell the Outlaws because someone was supposed to buy the Outlaws. But the guy who was going to buy the Outlaws also wanted a spot in the CDL, which is Call of Duty. 
and they weren't able to get a spot in the Call of Duty League, so they didn't end up buying the Houston Outlaws because that is also a franchise league. So basically, Immortals is stuck in this situation where they have to sell the Houston Outlaws, and they also had to or sell or release the CSGO team, right? And along with that, they have to decide which one of these three huge franchises, these leagues, they want to spend like money on, right? Because you have League of Legends, which honestly I think is what they're going for. I think they're going to go balls deep in League of Legends. That's smart because League of Legends right now is doing better as an esport than Overwatch is. And then they're also spending money on Call of Duty, which is a risk because I don't know how good Call of Duty uh, is going to be this year, especially with the franchising. But because of that, they're uh, deciding to skimp out on Overwatch, which is okay. But, like, it's interesting to me that LA Valiant have been a pretty consistent team this year. They had an on and off year this year, but they were pretty consistent. They got 13th, which is, like, not good, but it's, like, you could have done much worse, especially with an 0-7 start. So, seeing that they're going to go with the super low budget is super interesting to me. All right, let's continue. Sorry about that, but it needs to be talked about. And, the, and the, so that's why they did. Brady and Group, I think, went to... So agilities and Karif have been accordingly signed, uh, uh, not accordingly, have yeah, probably no, been signed by Toronto yeah, Defiant. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, and uh, that's that's what I've heard. Um, yeah, I'm getting. Do you think Toronto's gonna make moves like by like I've heard they. I heard they heard they signed Shurfor already. Yeah. Oh, I know. So apparently Toronto has already signed Shurfor. I, I think the only way of saving that organization is by buying. So, I, which is a true point. All right, let's talk about that. Let's talk about saving Toronto Defiance. So when you think of your favorite Overwatch League teams, probably one of the last one that comes to mind is Toronto Defiant. When you think of the, the teams that were unique, like the Shangdu Hunters or the Guangzhou Charge, you don't think of Toronto Defiant. When you think of the worst teams of last year, you don't really think of Toronto, but they're in the back of your mind. And the reason they're in the back of your mind is because Toronto weren't just bad last year. They were god-awful. So the fact that... They don't have a lot of fans. Their logo is kind of ugly. And, you know, they haven't really done anything besides pick up Mangachu in order to, like, make their fans support them. Because with Vancouver, yeah, sure, they don't have any Canadians, but they were the second best team last year. So they're going to have fans. London Spitfire don't have any um, Europeans or anything like that, but they won the stage a season one championship. You're going to like London Spitfire and winning stage one of season one, right? But Toronto, they've only went into playoffs and they literally only got into playoffs because they went against some really bad teams some people like to say oh toronto defiant are good literally they had to reverse sweep the houston outlaws who were also pretty bad last year right and this is in goats uh they lost 0-4 to the new york excelsior they either lost 3-1 or 4-0 to atlanta rain all the other teams they beat or like barely beat and that's because they weren't good they had an easy schedule some people are going to disagree with me but i think toronto were complete shit last year so uh, the fact that they're picking up Surefour, Agilities, and Kareev is is a big move. This I feel like it's going to gain on a lot of fans. A lot of people love Kareev. A lot of them love Surefour. A lot more people love Surefour. And the fact that they're bringing more Canadians into a Canadian organization is pretty um, big from Toronto's side. I don't think they'll be a great team, but it's a pretty smart move, and I can respect it. Whoa, what is oh. going on? Please don't tell me you're streaming. <laughs> oh, you oh fuck. You God. God. <laughs> so, apparently, they didn't realize that they were streaming. Funny moment. But with Nip what Niptudo sent at the last start, he already asked Valiant to trial. He asked Toronto to trial. Apparently, some rumors are going around that he's toxic. I don't think these are true, but it might be that Neptuno is struggling to find a team, and he might have to, at the end of the day, um, go and get one of these lower budgets in order to actually make a team. And if you want to know, I, I'll, I'll point out the video on this. I'll leave it. It's from Sideshow. But he talked about um, since Philly got second place last year, uh, the teams either had an, um, could have renegotiated their contracts or get paid the same amount as the year before in order to become free agents. Now, there's a good side and a downside, right? With becoming a free agent, you can get bought out. You can get... Uh, like a bidding war, so to say. It's kind of like with Surefor, he ended up deciding not to renegotiate his contract and he took the team option, which means he got paid the same amount from season one as he did, like season two, he got paid the exact same amount, the exact same contract, and then he would be released to be free agent later. Now, Neptuno is one of the players that did this. He didn't renegotiate his contract because with becoming second place in Overwatch League season one, maybe he thought, oh, I could get paid a lot more 
if I just wait out this next year and then become a free agent and people are going to want me. But the thing is with the difference between like Gladiators or Philly is that Philly, Philly were kind of, kind of, kind of dog shit this year. So it didn't, doesn't really help the case. Now, Boombox renegotiated his contract along with Poco. So they probably signed two year contracts uh, for a higher salary while that Tuno took the risk of getting his still lower salary in order um, to become a free agent for season three and get a much higher contract. According, like That's what these players are thinking. And some of them are sorry. Like Carpe did the exact same thing. So did EQO. But those players, they're they're still good. They still performed well last year. Neptuno didn't really have the time to sh chance to shine last year. So I don't really know how good Neptuno is, uh, did, right? And I don't know if he's going to get any high contracts. But that's it with this leaks. Um... I'm planning to do a stream 12 PST on a Thursday, which I believe is the 24th, where I'm going to be literally just talking about Overwatch League, just doing an entire stream going over all the moves so far, all the rumors, and talk to you guys or, you know, anyone. I don't really care, but, and I'm also going to make videos off of it. So, you know, I'm not slacking in content, but thank you so much for watching. That's it with the, it with the leaks for here. I uh, hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Peace.